Hey guys, how's it going? So before I start the video, I want to go ahead and let you know up front that I only got one video clip of me and Jamie hanging out. Um, since we haven't seen each other in a while and I only recorded that one clip, I kind of just forgot to record the rest of the evening. But I also want to go ahead and let you know that I'm going to be talking about the new changes to uh, the YouTube Partner Program after this segment. So What's happening, everybody? Guess who's here? Hi. How's, how's it going? <laughs> 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 Jamie is finally back. He has been out and about for about the past month, month and a half, uh, doing some super important projects. And we're celebrating tonight by watching a movie, got some Oreo flips from an ice cream truck, which I've actually never been to before. This is my first experience going to an ice cream truck. The three years I've been right on next to the street. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to go ahead and, and touch upon that. Uh, the whole thing with Logan Paul um, has caused YouTube to release a new update with the monetization program to where I can no longer be eligible for the monetization program. Um, we did finish the bloopers video for Not Advertiser Friendly, so that's going to be out shortly. And Pizza Fight, another one where me and Christopher fight over the last slice of pizza, is going to be up very shortly too. So what have, what have been the, the couple of projects that you've been doing recently? Uh, well, I've been helping the writer uh, just you know, going with the scripts and how to sell it. Also, I went part of the trip when I was away, uh, when I was out east, it was also to see some family. And my mother had his first daughter, so that's nice. The precious memories. Yeah. Alright, so now we're going to move on to the next segment. I want to go ahead and address what's been going on with this big change that everybody has gotten through YouTube. YouTube has now changed their partnership program to cover up the whole situation with Logan Paul. I want to go ahead and say that I know that there's no hard evidence or saying anything that this is because of him, but if you look at everything that's been going on, at least through the YouTube community and just all the news that you've been seeing that's going across YouTube, it's pretty much safe to assume that all these changes are happening because of what Logan Paul did. The majority of you that know me know that I have kind of an explosive temper, and whenever I got this email across my phone, I was severely upset. The traditional me would just start screaming, raving, and ranting, and I know that if I would get angry and I make a video right away, I might say some things that might either be wrong or I might not mean to say. After letting it sit on my mind for a couple of days, I have I think I can finally sit down and calmly and explain why I'm upset and how this just doesn't affect me. The first thing that makes me really upset about this is that we we can no longer monetize videos. I do have a, a fan base and you guys are that fan base and it's incredible. Now, of course, with me getting like maybe 100 to 200 views per video, I'm barely making pennies. But it's not the main reason why I feel upset. The main reason why I'm upset is because whenever I was a part of the YouTube Partner Program, it felt like I was actually doing something productive. I felt like the work that I was doing, it was at least something that entertained you guys. So effective immediately by February 20th, I will no longer be a YouTube Partner. Being a YouTube Partner to me, I feel like I've accomplished something on this platform. I'm actually doing something that's greater than myself. You know, being a YouTube Partner, having that as a title on your on your channel is something that makes you feel special. That That's the main thing. Thing that has me hurt and upset having that label as a YouTube partner being taken away from me hurts because I've worked for a good amount of years to get to where I am now even though the, the content that I put out I don't really like myself just like this this video and the vlogs and stuff like that I'm not a fan of because I really want to do creative things like what Christopher and, and the rest of Deep Sheep does. Plus with this new promotion that I got at work, it, my days off are completely random so I can't set a specific day each week to do something because the next week I'll probably be working that day. The thing that also really hate that I hate about this is that it's not just affecting me, it's affecting others. And there are thousands and thousands and thousands of other small content creators like me that actually do like really good work like i've seen some small tech channels offering like tech support to like how to speed up your computer how to scan for viruses and they're not a huge channel and, and i've also seen people like uh oh here's how we can help you file your taxes small channels that actually do contribute to the community that was a part of the youtube partner program is now no longer getting paid for christopher did not get affected by it but he is just as angry as the rest of us because he started out in the same pos position we we are and some bigger um content creators 
upset by this too because at one point they were in the same shoes that we are the small content creators and and there are some larger content creators that just flat out don't care i'm not going to go into specifics but there are some of them that started out where we were and they just don't care anymore they they finally made it they're doing their own thing they don't care it doesn't affect them which fine okay you you have your content you're successful that's fine but I do feel like you should at least have some sympathy to show like where you came from. And now that this is happening to a new generation of content creators, this should have you upset. One big thing I felt like could, could handle this better is giving the YouTube partners more responsibility. At least with YouTube, they wanted to have somebody manually review the videos themselves instead of a bot doing it. Because that was the big thing that kept getting these toxic videos that caused the, the adpocalypse to happen. Whenever I talk about this, I'm talking about having a select few content creators that or small actually review video now you'll you'll have to forgive my ignorance and how business actually works or how YouTube actually functions as a group I want to go ahead and give a disclaimer that I do not know how YouTube does their business how they review their videos or any lines of the sort on how that's done this is just strictly my two cents on how I think it could work and I could be wrong I could be 150% wrong for instance uh, YouTube has a bot or whatever they have had in the past review the videos before it get uploaded to be unmanned, meaning there is not a physical person reviewing the video, seeing if it's advertiser friendly or even safe to post on YouTube. It was it was completely automated. Have us review a video that might be considered toxic for YouTube, giving them more responsibility to feel more involved with YouTube. Because I guarantee you, there are a huge number of content creators that would love to just sit down and review videos before they get uploaded. You would have to approve or deny an X amount of videos a month or a week it just any a number a small amount of responsibility to small content creators would make them feel more valued and that would make them more passionate to do more projects in the future so I feel like that would be one thing that would be good to do this whole thing going on with YouTube has demotivated me to the point that I did not want to do these videos anymore but the more that I sat down and the more that I thought about it it made me think like well this and this is this should be no reason to stop YouTube if anything this should be a motivation to keep creating content not just like these stupid vlogs or the video game videos I'm doing but some some sort of content for at least me that I can do to show that I actually have skill or talent or something that makes me stand out as a content creator and that's one thing I want to do is armor making and that's not just limited to me there are thousands of other people that want to share their talents and abilities and just overall they just want to share things with the world now I will go ahead and say this what happened with Logan Paul has killed content creators you just have to be careful with what you film and upload because of his mistake it is affecting thousands and I mean absolute thousands of people across the country and probably the world yes I am angry at Logan Paul I don't know if I can forgive him as of right now but it is not entirely his fault that my channel got demonetized. It's YouTube's. YouTube has put too many specific rules and guidelines because they have no competitors. They have no one to match up with as far as video sharing websites. YouTube is the number one video sharing and video viewing website in the world they see that and they use that because that's they're looking at this since they have no competition they can do what they want and no one can out stop them they took the route that was going to save them the most money in the long run instead of dividing up responsibilities between youtube partners and smaller youtube partners and content creators they took it out on every single individual small youtube partner and content creator the only thing we can do now is just speak out but that's pretty much going to be for the end of this video um i do hope you guys have enjoyed the video i'm sorry i kind of got on a, on a serious topic but i felt like i needed to do it i really needed to talk about this i do hope you guys have enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching and subscribing it does mean the world to me i do see you guys in the comments thank you so much you guys are incredible without you guys i wouldn't be doing this and because of you guys i'm still going to be doing this even after i get demonetized but thank you guys so much thank you from the bottom of my heart i really do mean it i hope you all have a fantastic day and as always stay frosty